Hello everyone, welcome back to Infigyan. In this video, we have one very very interesting question from Quartic Equations. I will be solving this question in three ways. So let me write here method number one. I will check our equation at x equal to zero. So left hand side will be one, one times one, and right hand side will be zero, which is not true. So I can write for our equation x cannot be zero. I will write x can't be 0. Let's multiply these two brackets. So I will write x power 4 plus x cube plus x plus 1 equal to 4x square. Or we can write x power 4 plus x cube minus 4x square plus x plus 1 equal to 0. Now x is non zero. So we can divide both sides by x square. Now x power 4 over x square, x square, x cube over x square, x minus 4 plus 1 over x plus 1 over x square. Right hand side will be 0. Now first term and last term, second term and second last term, we will write x square plus 1 over x square plus x plus 1 over x minus 4 equal to 0. Now add 2 and subtract 2. So these three terms x square plus 1 over x square plus 2 will give us x plus 1 over x whole square. So I can write x plus 1 over x whole square plus x plus 1 over x minus 6 equal to 0. Now let us assume x plus 1 over x equal to u. So our equation will become u square plus u minus 6 equal to 0. Equation is quadratic. We can use factorization method. So u square we can split 1u as 3u minus 2u minus 6 equal to 0. Now from first two terms u is common, u plus 3 will be in the bracket. From last two minus 2 is common, u plus 3 equal to 0. So we can factor LHS as u minus 2 times u plus 3 equal to 0. Or we can write u will be equal to 2 minus 3. Now u was x plus 1 over x. So I can write x plus 1 over x equal to 2 x plus 1 over x equal to minus 3. Multiply both sides by x. So x square plus 1 equal to 2x x square plus 1 equal to minus 3x or we can write x square minus 2x plus 1 equal to 0 or x minus 1 whole square equal to 0. So we can write x equal to 1 with multiplicity 2 or let us write 1 and 1. Here I will use quadratic formula. So let's write all the terms to one side. x will be equal to minus b. So minus 3 plus minus the square root of b square which is 9 minus 4ac over 2 times 1. So 2. So minus 3 plus minus the square root 5 over 2. Here we have the remaining two solutions. This was method number one. Now I will write here our solution number two. So quartic equation was x power 4 plus x cube minus 4x square plus x plus 1. If I will plug in x equal to 1, let's check what will happen. 1 plus 1 minus 4 plus 1 plus 1. 4 minus 4 which is true. 
So I can say x equal to 1 is our base solution and we can think about to use synthetic division method. So we have to write all the coefficients of quartic equation 1, 1, minus 4, 1, 1. Leading term we will write as it is 1. Now we have to multiply base solution with this leading term. 1 times 1 is 1. If we will add these two, we will get 2. 1 times 2, 2, minus 2. 1 times minus 2, minus 2, minus 1. 1 times minus 1, minus 1, 0. These are coefficients for cubic equation. So I can write x cube plus 2x square minus 2x minus 1 equal to 0. Again I will plug in x equal to 1. So 1 plus 2 minus 2 minus 1. 3 minus 3 which is equal to 0. So x equal to 1 is our base solution for this cubic equation. Again I will use SDM. So I can write coefficients of cubic equation 1, 2, minus 2, minus 1. 1, 2, minus 2, minus 1 with our base solution x equal to 1. Now 1 would be as it is. 1 times 1, 1, 3. 1 times 3, 3, 1. 1 times 1, 1. Addition will be 0. So these are coefficients for quadratic equation. So x square plus 3x plus 1 equal to 0. Now I can use quadratic formula. We will get minus 3 plus minus square root 5 over 2. So there are two base solutions 1 and 1 and two solutions are here minus 3 plus minus root 5 over 2. This was our method number 2. Now we will check method 3. Here I will write our quartic equation x power 4 plus x cube minus 4x square plus x plus 1 equal to 0. Now I can consider product of two quadratics. So I can write here x square plus ax plus 1 times x square plus bx plus 1 equal to 0. Here we have considered the constant plus 1 and plus 1. So this is our case 1 where we are taking constant plus 1 and plus 1. In second case we will take minus 1 and minus 1. Let's multiply these two brackets. So I will be getting x power 4 plus a plus b times x cube plus a b plus 2 times x square plus a plus b times x and then plus 1 equal to 0. Now we have to compare the coefficients both sides. See, if I will compare with our quartic equation left hand side, then I can write here after comparing the coefficient of x cube. So a plus b will be equal to 1. And once I will consider the coefficient of x square, I can write ab plus 2 will be equal to minus 4. So I can write ab will be equal to minus 6. Now a plus b is 1. So we can think about one quadratic equation whose roots are a and b. Then this equation is sum of roots. This equation is product of roots. We can write quadratic in a itself a square minus sum of roots which is 1. So 1 times a plus product of roots minus 6 equal to 0. Now we have to solve this quadratic equation. a square minus a minus 6 equal to 0. Let's apply quadratic formula this time. a equal to minus b plus minus square root of minus 1 square is 1 minus 4ac so plus 24 
over 2. We can write 1 plus minus square root 25 over 2. So A will become 1 plus minus 5 over 2. Or we can write with plus sign 6 over 2 with minus sign minus 4 over 2. So A will become 3 and minus 2. Now we know A plus B was 1. So I can write when A is 3, B will be equal to minus 2. When A is minus 2, B will be 3. So I can write our factors x is square minus 2x plus 1 times x is square plus 3x plus 1 equal to 0. And once we will solve, we will get x equal to 1, 1 and then minus 3 plus minus root 5 over 2. Now second case. I will write here x power 4 plus x cube minus 4x square plus x plus 1 equal to 0. Second case I will consider x square plus cx minus 1 times x square plus dx minus 1 equal to 0. Product will be still plus 1. Let's multiply. So, we will be getting x power 4 plus c plus d times x cube plus cd minus 1 times x square minus c plus d times x plus 1 equal to 0. Now we will compare the coefficient of x cube and coefficient of x only. So once I will compare the coefficient of x cube, I will write c plus d equal to 1. And once I will compare the coefficient of x, then I will be writing minus of c plus d equal to 1 or c plus d equal to minus 1. So both the equations cannot prove simultaneously. So from here we won't get solution. So our final solution becomes x equal to 1 with multiplicity 2 and minus 3 plus minus root 5 over 2. I hope friends you will like this video. Thank you so very much for watching. Do not forget to like, share, subscribe. Bye bye till next video. Take care of yourself. Goodbye.